This year we're going to try to do leaf cutter bees. This is more of a summer bee when temperatures are a little bit warmer. Uh, I ordered my material from Crown Bees and I'm just going to lay out a little bit uh, what I ordered and why. Still waiting for my bees. They should be coming pretty soon. Just waiting for the weather to get a little warmer here in the northwest and a little more aligned with my, my small little garden I have. We've moved to a, a more of a park-like setting. Um, versus residential so it's going to be a little bit different but i'm um, still hoping to have my garden and mason bees in the spring and now leaf cutter bees so let's look take a look at what we've got so we have i think it's called the, the bee chalet um, this is what will will house them in some crown bees i ordered I thought this was very good for launch for hatching the bees when you put them out put them in that little tray you slide it in here so that protects them from the birds and the wind and such and they're able to to come out I thought that was real great now we have this block here and this is a little bit different than the mason bees the mason bees like eight millimeter holes and these are six millimeter holes so a little bit smaller Again, this is the type of block that you can take apart. I'll be able to take this apart when they're done and clean them up and um, get them out. And then you can have them next summer. I also ordered some um, bee spray. Now, th what this does is a pheromone that tracks the bees. I'll spray that on the block right before I put the bees out. They track them back to this block here um, instead of just scattering. So hopefully that's going to work. And I got this screen, this bird screen. We have a lot of birds here. So this will go over the front of this with the block in. You can see we put the block in. We'll put this on the front. And that will keep the birds hopefully away from it a little bit, at least when they're in there. It's a little harder for the birds. And then um, when we get the cocoons out later this year, we'll put those in here and store them this from what I understand, I'm no expert by any stretch of the imagination on this, but from what I understand, and what I'm learning is, come fall, we'll pull the bees out, the, the <clears throat> cocoons out of there, uh, put them in here. And actually, you don't put these in the refrigerator, but I'll store them in my uninsulated shed here and just kind of keep them at a, at a cool temperature. So that's what we'll use this bag for, just to protect those. So I'm really looking forward to doing this i'll catch up back with you when i get my bees and then we'll we'll put those outside okay we got our bees delivered today the first thing i'm going to do is is use the invite a bee there spray on the front to hopefully attract them back to it and they're in the house right now in the refrigerator for a few minutes slowing them down and we'll get them released so about 10 five pumps five or ten pumps on here it said all right about 10 pumps on here and we'll call it good all right got the bees package here they were in a little something to protect them but i just pulled them out of the refrigerator they come in this little bag all the cocoons and you can see them in there and a couple have already hatched so you can see them there lots of cocoons and they're ready to go so let's get them out of there and go go put them out on the bee chalet let them loose Okay. Okay, so we can see the bees, they're ready to go. Tick this out. We're going to put them in here and let them go. Oh, they're, they're ready to go. Oh, it's a 
cinch sack. Okay. Wait a minute. They say make sure. Oh, look, they're coming out. There they come. Dropping on the ground. So make sure you point it towards the front. Getting it. Very nice. Look at them all. They're dropping on the ground. All right, so we'll slide them in here and see if they start coming out. Down in there. Oh. Just kind of keep filming that. Those ones actually flew. Yep. They're coming out. All right, we'll see how they do. I'll come back in another day or so and see how, see if any flying. to go. Been about a week since I let the bees out, and they're starting to fly back in the block. Check the things out. I don't know if you can see them all swarming around, but things seem to be going well. Anxious to see how many nest and how many we start capping off. A little update here, and uh, things seem to be going well. This is Old Truths Outside. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.